Hello guys, uh, welcome back. So in this video, let us uh, analyze that SBI malware in the sense the malware which was spreading the name of SBI customer support, right? It has been detected uh, like in a last uh, six hours only. Like it is not uh, too hold of like malware. It was I mean like it was found uh, on these date like uh, when i was making a video so basically the first uh they started a phishing campaign uh, i have already uploaded that uh, in my instagram like uh, with the url how we started uh, the i mean like the uh, the domain with associated with the phishing was bought recently like nine days ago from uh, godaddy so along with that they have launched a, a malware which which captures the uh you know sms of your phone so let us see like let us analyze what it does so i have my jadax tool ready so i have already uh, loaded the hpk into my jadax so let us start our investigation so first let us go to android money first <laughs> this is very good malware it doesn't uh take all the uh, user permissions the main thing like i mean like it, it is specifically uh they have developed to steal your sms you can see here it can read and steal i mean like it can read and send the sms uh and it does have the one main activity and it has a receiver i mean like it can read the sms received okay uh we have one main activity let us go and uh see what is happening in the main activity com as we complain up okay so this is our main activity you can see uh so the main activity okay there this is the api call what they are i mean like api where they are storing the uh, sms you can see and this is the same url which i showed you people in instagram if you haven't uh, seen it like there is a link in the description go follow it uh you can see okay uh, in sms receive it, it, it is assessing the permission of sms in a sense it can read the data provider is a data i mean like we stores the data uh, going back so let us start from our like life cycle let us go to on start so what happens when the app uh, gets started okay so it is going to ask a users permission you can see uh, it is asking a permission of a user to uh, accept or to declare it uh on on uh, accepting what is happening okay let us go and in again let us check what is happening yeah uh when we give i mean like when the user accepts uh so what happens check self permission whether it has uh, whether i mean like user is granted if it is not it will send a uh, like again one string like read and send sms permission are required to do a task please grant it and it will uh, create okay dialog right so let me let me see like let me load it okay i have not uh, loaded apk so okay uh, let me load a apk so this is the thing see hello sbi uh, quick support to send and 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 give sms messages well, let me hello what should i lose i have my vm right okay uh i nothing happened here because see, no sms service uh, is available in this device enter the complaint number see you can see here uh, like uh, this guy how we develop for this placeholder i can even go back the enter placeholder if even if i submit the like uh, you know case number complaint number it will never take in the sense the job is already done because the only the author's intention was to capture your sms there is a previous malware uh, which is still getting uninstalled okay yeah like this is the like the intention of author was just to uh, you know steal your sms so he got his uh, task i mean like done you can see here like let us go to the settings and uh, apps uh apps permissions okay, let us go to the apps infos and where is the sbi see the only thing he needed was sms permission he got it then he don't need anything else let us try to turn off it 
and uh, let us try to open it hmm? see again i showed you right here read and send permissions are required in a sense on every loop like for an example if you close the app i mean like uh, uh, we destroy the process when you open it it will check self permissions whether it is there or not if it is not available you will again prompt please accept it we have yeah let us ask. let us allow we hello does nothing even if i press the submit button it does nothing so let us go let us do our static analysis more so it took our permissions so what happens on request permissions your permission denied or granted so it will send uh, let us see uh, received sms okay is this ending for a log okay i don't have any this e functionality okay uh, do I have no oh, if I had I could have seen I think he is sending it for a log messages from log is he uh, from log he is sending to his API okay uh, here you can see uh, something called public had a uh, string a message phone string type 2 so what is he doing here he is sending all the URL so this is a URL okay so what is he uh, he is creating other API a call to send whatever the data captured you can see message from the phone and which model and he's finding the date and time so what is this url this is a url which was uh, declared here like which is used here this is a api which is using to send data right uh, get all sms okay this is not uh, thing okay if we see more okay task done okay this is nothing uh sms listener is creating sms on even if if the app is at resume state also he is see oh, even on the pause stage stop state even the app is at any state he is calling the listener and checking the uh, permission again and again if not a permission you gonna prompt the user to accept it right so let us see another one like uh, sms listener. yeah this is what we saw sms listener okay yeah sms listener you can see this is where he is sending and uh, okay main activity this is the main activity sms very copied okay yeah here he is just passing it JSON object, you can see it is passing the request as a JSON object. Okay, okay, type in box and new listener. Uh, so, what else? Splash activities. You can see splash activity has nothing. Just here we saw, right? It has nothing. Just he will prompt one thing and he asked to, well, he asked permissions and we have to accept this. That's what that says. Uh, if we see any other uh, important things, if we have, uh, let us see. Build company will not have anything. Okay, something is there is a background receiver. Okay, so here again, um, is checking the connectivity. Uh, I mean, like whether the device is online, uh, and to send the data, like whether the internet is on or off, and he makes uh, the connection enabled and uh, it doesn't have anything okay here he is binding the app uh, that's it that's it uh, in this what is this what is there in the data might be sms okay the sms body how he wants the, to steal that's it guys uh, this is how uh, like uh, this malware author is uh, taking the permission of your sms and he is stealing all your sms data yeah now he has a permission to uh, send and receive the legacy data so what he can do in the sense now he as he have a um, permission to send message to anyone he will just send this url to all the contacts in your mobile let us see let, let me show what is this uh, url does right let me show that also
whatever the phishing page my firewall will detect that's why guys i'm telling you now get get your antivirus pro antivirus right yeah yeah you can see here in now like what does this malware does in the sense it gonna send this phishing page to all your like uh, contact number so uh, it will force like might be like sending like um, you like uh, the dash and dash regarding the complaint has been solved please log in uh, to your account to verify whether your money has been returned to a bank or not obviously when we talk about a money obviously the user feels so open let us try some dummy name and we'll see what will happen so my number eight eight double double nine something yeah it's okay enter your query i know you are smart and now uh, you can't stay hidden forever <laughs> let me read <laughs> okay account number net banking let's see enter user id let us enter 456789 something password jai bhuvaneshwari devi <laughs> we'll see transaction password okay uh kannada that's it now we got all our password let me go and hack my account right so this what guys this is about this uh, malware which was uh, spreading uh, from this noon so be careful never ever open the unknown links uh if you do open never ever download uh, like whenever uh, if you open the links there will be a uh, download hanker which will automatically download so make sure that uh, you cancel that download immediately and uh, if you open link please check the url before you log into any unknown website right and make sure that you have a good antivirus protection because a good antivirus can save your uh, lakhs or crores whatever right so this is it for uh, this day guys thank you thank you so much see you again bye, -bye.